Hello, this is Tamás Kalman with Avaya Global Services and today I'm going to talk about how to upgrade Communication Manager 603 running on System Platform to Release 7 using Solution Deployment Manager. System Manager 7.0 introduces Solution Deployment Manager the enhanced and extended version of software management feature available in version 6.3 and earlier. Solution Deployment Manager enables a simplified and centralized solution to carry out upgrades and updates of various Avaya applications. The automation of repetitive administrative tasks of software upgrades and updates saves time and reduces the chance of upgrade failure happening due to user errors. SDM has support both for system platform environments running 6.3 and earlier versions of Avaya applications and the newer Avaya appliance virtualization platform and generic VMware ESXi environments used by Avaya Aura 7 applications. Currently ESXi version 5.0, 5.1, 5.5 and 6.0 is supported. As a bridge between these environments, Solution Deployment Manager is your go-to solution when you need to upgrade to release 7. Here is an overview of the upgrade workflow covered in this video. First we will begin with the pre-upgrade workflow. We will refresh elements that will collect the current version information from the server that we are going to upgrade. After that, we will run Analyze that reaches out to the Avaya software download site PLDS and check the latest available software for the server that we are going to upgrade. This will give SDM the ability to show the latest available software for our server. After the analysis is complete, we download the software required for the upgrade. This will be downloaded directly from the PLDS website. Pre-upgrade check is the final pre-upgrade workflow step, which will check the elements and check the most basic requirements on the server that we are going to upgrade to ensure the successful upgrade. Couple of disclaimer points regarding this video. This video focuses on the solution deployment workflow of this upgrade. This video was not intended as a comprehensive guide to upgrading Communication Manager to Release 7 and for supported upgrade paths and prerequisites and data migration steps you will need to consult the corresponding documentation on the Avaya support website including Upgrading Avaya Aura Communication Manager Upgrading and Migrating Avaya Aura Applications to Release 7.0 and there are a couple of system manager configuration prerequisites not covered in this video, which are PLDS user settings and access should be configured in system manager before following these steps. And the software library being used for the upgrade should be correctly configured. Navigate to Solution Deployment Manager and click Upgrade Management. In this list actually you can see that the System Platform and Communication Manager element has been added to the Solution Deployment Manager and also there are two elements that have been automatically created when I configured the System Platform which is the CM Simplex template as you can see the type is template and uh, the Utility Server element. Now that we have verified our elements in the inventory and we made sure that the required elements show up in upgrade management, the next step will be to run a refresh activity on these elements. The refresh activity will reach out to the components and collect primarily version information but also other configuration information. As you can see in this case if I scroll a little bit to the right you can see that the current version column is populated for these elements. This happens because actually this information is being fetched or has been fetched once I have configured the system platform in the inventory. But before beginning any upgrade activity and analyze activity, which will be the next step, it is also required that we run a refresh on these elements. Let me click on the CM Simplex template. As you can see, all the elements have been automatically selected since these are all part of the same template, same environment. So now that I have selected them, let us click on pre-upgrade actions and refresh elements. You need to specify here some self-explanatory job name, for instance, pre-upgrade refresh. 
and you can either select to run it immediately or, or schedule later but in case you want to actually proceed and do the upgrade after this obviously you need to select run immediately so after this has been set click on schedule and now the job has been scheduled to reach out to these elements and collect the, the required version and configuration information the last action status has been changed to pending for all these elements so this happens because this activity has been scheduled and it is in progress after clicking refresh on the left hand side at the top of the list you can see now the status of these elements have changed and the last action status has changed for some of them to successful for the other two of them it is in running status since uh, the refresh is still running also you can click on upgrade job status select the job type refresh elements and you will be able to see that the pre-upgrade refresh job is in running status and it is 50% complete so far so let's click refresh and now you can see it is 100% complete and the status is successful. Navigate back to the upgrade management view. Here you can also see that the last action status has changed to successful. And if I scroll to the right, the version is essentially the same. They haven't changed, but now the status of these elements have changed. And if I select the simplex element or any of these elements for that regard and click on pre-upgrade actions, under refresh elements there is an analyze option as well. So our next step before proceeding with the upgrade, or actually we will have further steps before that, is to analyze these elements. Meaning that basically we need to mix and match the current version of information of these elements along with the available software on the Avaya support site and PLDS and system manager will have to determine what is the latest available version for these elements. So let's click on analyze. For this to run successfully, you will have to have the user settings set up so that system manager is able to either communicate with the support site or if you have set up an alternate source server within your environment has to be able to communicate with that server. So let's run this immediately. Click on schedule and as with refresh as well, now they are in pending state. Let us navigate over to upgrade job status and this time from the drop down we have to select analyze and the pre-upgrade analyze job is in running state it is 0% complete while the analyze job is running let us navigate back to the upgrade management view for a moment here you can see like uh, with refresh the last action status of these elements have changed and now they are in a running status when any of these elements are in running status you can click on the element to drill down what is happening in the background in this case you can see that the job has been scheduled and after that the analyze is being executed so in this case you don't see so many details but you will see later on that for instance when the upgrade is happening you can drill down like this and you will be able to see the upgrade steps in greater detail which helps you to better understand you know where the upgrade is once you have been satisfied with the information you've seen you can close it with with this uh, little cross on the right hand side and let's go back to the upgrade job status page again and let's pick analyze so after waiting a few minutes, the pre-upgrade analyze job has apparently completed and the status is successful. So let's go back to the upgrade management view. And here you can see that the status of most of these elements has changed. Uh, obviously the last action status is still successful like it was after the refresh elements because that activity was successful as well. However, if I scroll to the right, Apart from the current version, now I can see uh, some information in the entitled upgrade version a column. System Manager, Solution Deployment Manager was able to determine what is the available software version that is also compatible with my system and also available for me on the Avaya Support download site or more precisely PLDS. Another useful piece of information that you can find is in the release status column. You can see that, for instance, for the communication manager, this red cross, red X is being shown. This doesn't only mean that this upgrade is required, but also the red circle with the cross means that the software required for this upgrade hasn't been downloaded yet. 
So let's do that. Let's navigate to download management. Scroll down here. You can see a list of product families. And from the list of families, there is a row with the family name of media servers. You have to drill down this by clicking on the plus sign next to it. And select and check the checkbox for the bottom row here, which is for the OVA template. Finally, click on show files on the right hand side. Now I can see the list of available such software that I filtered on under the product families list listed here. You can see here that we have basically a choice of two different CM OVA files for release 7. And in my case, I have a simplex CM. So I just select that. And once I selected it, I click download. And here you basically have an option to verify that the software is really the one that you want to download. And you also have a selection from available software libraries that you have configured. But there is one software library that comes with System Manager by default, which is the System Manager default local. And you can use it for this type of upgrade with no problem. But would you have configured other software libraries like remote software libraries, the System Manager would be using, they would be listed here. So I just leave it on the default and under protocol you could be selecting the type of protocol that is being used to transfer the file from system manager to that uh, software library once it is downloaded uh, since this is a local software library that's not required it will be just moved on the on the file system so i click download after that you need to read the end user licensing agreement and once you have done that you have to check the checkbox to agree with it and click now so as you can see See here the download has begun status has changed to download in progress after a few minutes of wait the download of the OVA file has completed as you can see so I navigate back to upgrade management now the really status of these elements is still upgrade required so let me select these elements and run an analyze job again obviously you can name these jobs you can give any name to it just whatever makes sense for you so let's schedule this job. Navigate again to the upgrade job status view and select analyze from the drop down. As you can see, the current analyze job is in running status. It's 0% complete. It will take a few minutes until it completes. The analyze job has completed. Let's navigate back to upgrade management. As you can see, the release status of the communication manager has been changed to ready for upgrade. This is because we have downloaded the software. As you can see, the release status for the utility server is still upgrade required because I haven't downloaded the software for utility services. So let's do that now. From the family list, you need to expand the utility services section and then uh, click on OVA US template and click show files on the right hand side. You see that there is only one option that is being listed. So so I select that and click download. And as before, we download it to the default system manager library, software library. We accept the end user licensing agreement and click now. And now the download is in progress. It is important to note that as you have seen, under upgrade management, the utility service is also the part of the system platform template together with CM. And in this case, the migration will automatically contain and create the utility services, a virtual machine as well in the upgraded environment. So that is why we need to download this software as well. And in this case, it will be deployed for us automatically during the upgrade process. Download has completed. Now let's navigate back to upgrade management. And as you can see here under the utility server, the release status is still upgrade required. So let me select these elements and run another analyze and schedule it to run immediately. Of course, it is not required to download the software for the communication manager and utility services in two separate steps. I just wanted to demonstrate to you how the release status changes as we download the software for these elements and uh, we run an analyze job on these. This analyze operation has completed as well and now both the communication manager and the utility server shows as ready for upgrade. So that's so great. We have one last step before proceeding with the upgrade and that is the so-called pre-upgrade check. So now since these elements are ready for upgrade, the pre-upgrade check link or button is not grayed out anymore. You just click on the pre-upgrade actions button after selecting the elements and 
click on pre-upgrade check. So in the pre-upgrade configuration view, we can see some information about the host that we are planning to uh, upgrade. We have a couple of, uh, there are a couple of choices that we have to make and one of them is the target host. And we select same box for both of them since uh, this uh, system will be upgraded on the same hardware after the Avaya appliance virtualization platform has been installed. And for upgrade source, we have to select the local software library since that is where we have downloaded the software required for the upgrade and uh, we have to select the OVA files that we would like to deploy during the upgrade and in this case it is uh, straightforward since we only downloaded these two OVA files for these elements and we also need to select flexi footprint option depending of uh, what the required capacity for our system will be so here in the, in this case I just select the smallest option and and minimal resources for the utility server. You will have to verify the upgrade documentation to determine the right choice for your scenario. So let's specify a job name for this pre-upgrade check. Leave uh, the scheduled job option on run immediately and click schedule. So now if we go to the upgrade job status and uh, select pre-upgrade check from the drop down, as you can see the pre-upgrade check is in a pending state. But let's go back to the upgrade management view since we can follow how the pre-upgrade check progresses by navigating to the communication manager row and clicking on the running icon and we can observe the different steps of the pre-upgrade check that are being carried out and it appears that the pre-upgrade check has completed and as you can see that each step has been successful and passed the test. We are ready for an upgrade. Thank you for watching. We welcome questions and feedback on mentor at avaya.com and on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details and other technical information, please visit support.avaya.com.